Sample rate is the speed at which the voltage level of a signal is captured by the analog to digital converter inside the scope. Sample rate and memory depth in an oscilloscope are closely related to the length of the waveform in time you capture. The faster the sample rate, the shorter the captured wave is in time. The more memory you can utilize, the more time you can store. The chart to the right shows a line color for different memory depth values from 10,000 points to 100 million points. Along the x-axis is the sample rate settings from 1 kilosample per second up to 5 gigasamples per second. The y-axis shows how long in time can be continuously captured with, some, with the memory depth and sample rate settings. Note that these are all log scale axes. Two good examples help us illustrate the relationship. To record a thousand second signal with a scope that has two megapoints of memory, the highest sample rate you can use is 2,000 samples per second. On the other hand, if you know you need one gigasample per second sampling and have a scope with up to 12 million points of memory, then the longest time you can continuously capture is 12 milliseconds. On the instrument, we can see how the scope manages this relationship. The sample rate and memory depth are located near the top left. When the memory depth is set to auto, the scope utilizes the memory it needs to fill the display at the max sample rate. As we increase the time, the sample rate goes up until it approaches the maximum, then the sample rate starts to drop so that we can fill the full time of the display. Now when we set the memory depth to an independent number, to a given value, it uses the maximum sample rate possible that still fills that display. Often this configuration leaves much of the waveform off the display, as we can see from the gray areas here, data on the left and right of the display. Now let's look at a pulse. In normal mode. So there's a single pulse we captured. We want to measure the recurring rate of it, but once we capture it, we want to use the deep memory. We can still zoom in on this signal and see the double pulse artifact in the center of that wave. The deep memory and high sample rate can be used together to analyze high speed signal artifacts that occur within slower developing patterns of signals. Capture more time without losing fidelity of your signals with this combination of speed and memory.